What's up, kids? Fat Kev Smith, quickly reminding you ways that you could financially remunerate those of us at Smodco who give you so much fucking free all over your face, neck, and chest. Um, here's some gigs that are coming up and whatnot. Over in Orlando, at uh, the Orlando Improv, over there in Florida, America's Wang, as Homer told us once. Uh, it's me and Bry Johnson from Comic Book Men and Tell Em Steve Dave. Doing Why Bry live March 26, 8 p.m. Orlando Improv. Why Bry? Gonna be a blast, man. March 30th, I'm gonna be back out in Los Angeles, and me and Ralph gonna do that magical show we call Hollywood Babylon. I hope at the Lovitz. Saturday, March 30th, uh, 8 p.m. Tickets at csmod.com. And don't forget, folks, Comic Book Men every Thursday night. At 10 o'clock, they've been rerunning it on Sunday nights as well. Uh, so th- there's only a few more episodes left this season. Get in there. Show the boys you love. And, of course, Jay and Silent Bob, super groovy cartoon movie is fucking everywhere, man. Uh, come see us. Tickets are moving real fast. Tour starts on 420. Nooch. Tickets at csmod.com slash groovy movie. Okay, on with another Smodco podcast. Hey, kids. It's time for comics. Straight from the basement of Jay and Silent Bob's in Red Bank, New Jersey, it's The Secret Stash. Starring Jersey's own comic book men, Walt Flanagan, Brian Johnson, Mike Zapsik, Ming Chen, and that Kevin Smith. Geek on! Hello everybody and welcome to The Secret Stash, the official comic book man companion podcast. Broadcasting from Jay and Silent Bob's Secret Stash. Hello Mike. Howdy Ming. Uh, no, Brian. He's uh, Brian and Walt. They're psyching themselves up for the uh, tomorrow's Asbury Park Comic Con. Walt's staying around. He's going to be hanging out here. He's That's right. Be slammed, and he's got no help. That's right. No help for Walt tomorrow. That's right. Well, maybe he could uh, hire a superhero. Mm-hmm. Say the greatest American hero. No. Here, Mike. I got something here for you. Oh, I'll do you now? Can, let me see if I can find this. Uh, here we. Here we go. Ah. Uh, <laughs> it, this is on my uh, answering machine at home. No, no. Yes, it is. Is it re- this <laughs> or the George Costanza it's version? It's the George Costanza version, of course. Look at what's happened. And do you actually get people leaving? Messages? Mike Post. Mike no, Post. This Mike is, Post. This, this is a Mike Post song. Uh, isn't this Mike Post only song? It's no. He did. Uh, a, he did other things. Such as uh, he did other um, <laughs> theme songs. Anything memorable? Um, I mean, nothing is memorable. Is this this is it, I, number one? I, I think he did. Yeah, I think he did. Um, wasn't it Hill Street Blues? Oh, okay. That's yeah. That, yeah it says, I mean, this sounds just like Hill yeah, Street Blues. Yeah. I mean, when you think, who could it be? Everyone. So, greatest American hero, superhero? No, absolutely <laughs> not. Absolutely. I mean, and you know what? The really cool thing was, I don't know if you. Were you, I, <laughs> here is what happened to me, folks. Okay. Look at what happened. Look at what to happened me, to Mike. Um, it, we were so starved for comic book entertainment on television. Yes. That I actually watched The Greatest American oh, every, Hero. I think everybody did. got good ratings. It, it went out for three or four seasons. Three seasons. Okay. And uh, Robert Culp. Yes. Who I, I love the, Robert Culp. He yeah, played uh, Bill, Detective. Bill Maxwell. Yes. Uh, Ralph Hinckley. Yes. Which, uh, or, around that time, back in the day, mm-hmm. uh, it was uh, John Hinckley was the shooter. Uh, he tried to kill Reagan. President Reagan, yeah. yes. So the William Cat character uh, played Ralph Hinckley. They changed the name mid-season to Ralph Hanley, I think? Well, no. It was only for one or two episodes. Hanley, and then Ralph Hanley. And then they went back to it because it was too confusing. Yeah. yeah They're well, like, screw it. He's a good guy. Yeah. Screw it. He didn't shoot the president. No. No. He's the greatest American hero. <laughs> exactly. Well, my point. And he had that, that mop. William Cat oh, had my, that he mop. Had, he had the, the most amazing hair in the world. I think his hair was the greatest American hero. His hair was the greatest American hair. Yes. Oh. It was the greatest American. Well, he was in... Uh, he's famous from for playing who? Tommy Ross and Carrie. Yes. Uh, opposite Sissy Spacek and uh, Amy Irving. So that's where he got his start. Well, one of his starts. Yeah, and but then he got this. And he got the greatest American hero. Yeah, created by uh, Stephen J. Cannell, big name in, in TV. Yes. If you watch TV back in the uh, that A Team, 
What else did he? Do? I uh, did a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he was. The, Those are my two favorites. So he threw the um, the typewriter and then yes. he threw it in uh, Canal Stephen yeah. J. Canal, and he just passed away, didn't he? I don't know, but if you Why say so, you check? if you if you say so, I believe it. Okay, I think he just passed away not too long ago. So uh, yeah, God bless him. He, yeah. he did a bunch of stuff. He also did a bunch of Columbos. Yes. So Stephen Stephen Canal. He yeah, you know what? He was big. Big back in I the mean, day. back in the day when there were only three channels. Yeah, Steve. Steven, uh, Steve was uh, the man. St- and Stephen Bochco. So here we go. The Rockford Files. Rockford Files. Oh, Big, yeah, yeah. Greatest American Hero, the A Team. Hardcastle and McCormick. Yes. Brian <laughs> Keith. <laughs> Brian Keith. Uh, wise Guy. 21 Jump Street. Then, uh, you know, if you want to count six Silk Stockings and the Commish. The Commish. <laughs> the Commish. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's huge. Dude's huge. Yeah. Back in the day. But uh, I starved. You mentioned the word star. We were so starved that like this we were. We this was this is all we had. And the basic setup for the greatest American heroes: yes. aliens come down. <laughs> uh, this is like right on the um, uh, the UFO craze. Yeah, maybe? yes. Right after Close Encounters. Yes. And ET. Yes. And here are these friendly aliens. They come down and they give him a, a suitcase, and it's got the um, that logo is really cool. Yeah, a little it looks, Chinese, like a, looks like a Chinese symbol. Yeah, or, or a firefly or something. Or, yeah. And um, it had um, – I, I loved the, the cut of the suit because it had a little <laughs> – cut? Yeah. Well, if you look at it, it, it had like a little um, – I, I, don't, I don't know what the uh, – I'm not a fashionista. So okay. it had a little um, – It had like an ampere waist. Yeah, like, is that what it's called? Is that what it's yeah, called? I think it is. I was just, it's, it, it, yeah, mon- where it's pulled up to like where the boobs are, yes. No, no, I'm talking about the, uh, it had like almost a, um, like a, a a suit jacket cut where there was a little skirt on there over his junk. Okay, right. (laughs) Whatever you want to call that. So you couldn't see the outline. Yeah. And Monel from the Legion of Superheroes had that same cut. And I was like, that's cool. Even though he's got this, you know, mop of oh right, yeah, it's hair. a little, yeah, it is kind of like a skirt. Yeah, it's like a little, little mini skirt. So he's uh, he's sporting this thing, and what does he do? He he and uh, Bill Maxwell, Robert Robert Culp, they lose the directions on how to use the suit. Yeah, so, so it's there, trial it and a, error. It came with a, a manual. Yeah, he's like, whoops, lost it immediately. What <laughs> so, is going on with that? <laughs> so you see, if you watch the intro on YouTube, he's flying into walls and yeah, stuff and because he doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, and, and he, the suit's bulletproof, but he's not, so he's covering up his face. Yes, you know, with his arms. Yeah, and uh, he's wearing a watch with the thing. Also, <laughs> not a great fashion statement. Well, yeah, I know what time it is. True, but you, you know, he's not pulling a Spider Man or a Superman where he's wearing the suit underneath his his regular clothes. He's keeping it in a backpack or his briefcase next to his uh, Twinkies and PB and J with yeah. the crust cut off, which ain't cool. No. Now, um, I mean, I, I caught a couple of episodes of the show. I don't know why I didn't watch it more. It was like slightly before my time. Okay, 81. a little bit more. Did um did they ever try to be like, oh, you know, you should consider your identity? Because like he didn't wear a mask or anything. No mask, but he could have. He could have worn a helmet. He could have. Should have I know worn, there were worn some things. Yeah, he should have worn a helmet. You know, be like Bullet Man or something. Yeah. But it turns out that back in like the 1940s, there was a there were other guys who wore the suit first. Oh, uh, okay. It was passed down to him. Yeah. So, well, they came and they took it because the guy turned out to be a scumbag. Yeah. And he was using the the suit for his own personal it's game stuff. Yeah. Okay. Here's my question: Did you have the Mego doll? Did not. Okay. No, that that was only a prototype. Oh, it never came out. Never came out. Ooh. And they had the uh, the VW Bug. And they also had a prototype of uh, Connie Selica. <laughs> Connie Selica, the you know they got to put a female in the show. Oh, and so, she, and, and she, she was, was his a, lawyer girlfriend, very hot. And I think they got married later on. Uh, I'd have to season check three. That. I think maybe, maybe I don't know if you made it that far. I didn't. By the time um, season three rolled around, the A team was on. I was like, screw <laughs> this, man! I won't watch that. <laughs> I pity, I pity Murdoch, you crazy fool! Yeah, seriously. Well, I mean, the dude in theory could fly, and there's stuff that you can do to to learn how to fly. First off, if you had a suit that made you invulnerable, yes. super strong, yes. and allowed you to fly, those were the powers. Wouldn't that... you f- try to figure out how the hell to use it? Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. First thing, yes. Even oh, well, first I wouldn't lose the freaking manual, but well, let's say you. I'm do. a manual man. I read the manual. Of course you do. Let's say you do. 
Okay, whoops. You're going to figure it out now, aren't you? Yeah, I'll jump off a small hill to start. Yeah, and sure. And then parking garage. And he also had super speed. The thing gave him super speed. So he's like the Flash. He's like yeah. the Flash, Superman. Well, basically Superman has the Flash's powers okay. too. Okay, so. all right. I don't know if he could survive underwater because he lost the freaking manual. Yes. Well, all right. That was just the stupidest <laughs> thing ever. Great premise for a show, though. But he didn't properly learn how to use the power. I mean, he it's was stupid. He was a buffoon. He was a little. No, no. He was William Cat. William, William Cat. Cat's pretty cool, if you say so. I'm. I'm assuming. And uh, oh, here's an interesting tidbit. Maybe many people might not know, but um, years later, I mean, even up till recently, William Cat started his own comic book. Yes. Called The Greatest American Hero. Yes. It was, was it a miniseries? Five I, issues? I have no idea. I know you, we only got one issue one. <laughs> no one cared. Yeah. It was, no one gave Talk a about like ass. missing your window. I know. No one cared. No one, honestly, the phone was not ringing at the I, stash. I remember reading. I don't even remember the plot now. Yeah, you did. Re- you were the only oh, one who read it and you put it back and you're like, that was terrible. Yeah. You actually said that was, that was terrible. You and Muse are the only two guys I've ever met who can read a comic book and find something good about every comic book. Except for this one. It was, so yeah, you it was, were like, that's terrible. It was, it, was, uh, I, it was when Heroes was still on and he was yes. actually on an episode or two of Heroes. What, what did he do? He played a reporter okay. who was trying to ferret out the hero's powers. All right. What did, he, what did William Cat do after this? Uh, house. <laughs> okay. Well, that's did a way movie, House. Oh, oh, that that the movie. Yeah, no, not, <laughs> not the TV. No, show. not the TV show House, okay. but that, and he was on Heroes. That's okay, and that's it. I'm sure he did voiceover work. Yeah, and and the, th- here's a missed opportunity. The Greatest American Hero as a cartoon should have been, should have been a Saturday morning cartoon. Totally. But they've done worse. Th- they turn uh, worse things into cartoons, like you mean, like Inch High Private Eye. Yes, or uh, Rubik's the Rubik Cube. Yes, or, or uh, Hubert. Yeah, or uh, Mr. T in the uh, <laughs> Stay in school, fool. <laughs> Mr. Drink T. your milk. Mr. The Mr. T cartoon. Yeah. Eat your vegetables. Um, with them remaking everything, you think they'll try it? Don't get in vans with strangers. You think they'll take a stab at this one? Uh, I would love it. I th- and okay. you know what? I they should get Colin Farrell for this. <laughs> Call it to play. I have to, no idea. To play Ralph yeah. Hinckley? Yeah. Oh, He's look, I, I lost a broke. manual. I, like, I can't you, believe it. Aren't you supposed to be the greatest American hero? I'm sorry. I'm, uh, the, I'm the greatest no. Irish hero. No, I, I, I lost the manual. I lost the manual. Let's go get drunk. Yeah. Let's, I will, I will. let's go pound the piss out of some people. I would watch it. They probably wouldn't bring it back as a TV show, but I'd, I'd, watch, I'd watch the movie. That'd be awesome. I'm going to go get a tattoo. I don't think these days we're so starved for anything resembling a superhero. Not even movie. close. Yeah. Colin Farrell can't even get into another comic book movie. <laughs> uh, but, you know, they turn every bad idea or every yes. idea back into a, a Yeah, that's true. Movie. They should have mixed this with uh, Bewitched, the, the greatest American Bewitched. Yeah. I don't know how many seasons you watch, first, second, first season, second season. Second. Uh, I think I, I stopped in the middle of second season. I don't, know if you, I don't know if any of the plot lines ever stood out. I don't even remember any of the plot the lines. Only ones, uh, the, the only one that I can remember is that um, they had alluded to uh, the suit being used by a guy against the Axis powers. Oh, back in the 40s. Back in the 40s. And that they wanted the suit back. Okay. Because he was dying. Okay. And he was in a wheelchair. And that's what really stopped the war. And yeah, the greatest American hero stopped the war, which right. for me would have been like, shit, that is awesome. <laughs> that would have been If great. they showed it? Yeah. Yeah. That could be the plot of the movie. Yeah. Seriously. Greatest American hero punching Hitler? Yes. How awesome would that have been? F- flash and- forward to 2013 or whatever, and then- yeah. Then you get Colin Farrell as Nicky Cat. Colin Flower, yeah. Not Nicky Cat, William Cat. As, or he could be Nicky Cat. You can call me Nick. I don't no, mind. You know, Nick, Nicky Cat's a dude from Dazed and Confused. That's fine. Yeah. I, I think they're all wonderful. Yes. All right. <laughs> ba- the, the band Megatron toy. No, no purple, well, not purple, no orange tip on the uh, dude smuggled it and out. And to be honest he with was, you. He uh, was very intense. He was Kind of creepy. A lot of people on a lot of people tweeted last night that that dude's creepy, and I tweeted what? that he I tweeted that he was doing a dime up state for smuggling <laughs> toys, he and was, people are like seriously, yeah, I'm like uh, sure, if you want to believe it, why not? Go ahead, yeah, he's he's, he's doing intense. he's doing ten years. Very serious about his band. Megatron ten years in uh, Rahway, Rahway now, State Penitentiary. Interesting about this one, uh, it was actually it was a reissue. Uh, 94 reissue from that one was yes I did not know that but it still it didn't have the orange didn't have the orange cap now 
you're you know you're you're older than I am, but back when I was a kid, mm-hmm. you could go to the toy store, Toys R Us, or whatever, buy a cap gun. That you could wood grain. I remember black handle. Black, you know, it looked it looked like a real. Were you here like when gun. I was talking? I was talking to a gentleman about having an Uzi. I had an Uzi. Yes. Um, the squirt gun. A squirt gun. Yes. It was an automated squirt gun. Yes, black. And yeah, you filled up the. Um, you had to fill up the the clip yeah. with water. Slap it in. You there. slap it in there, and then do, 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 and, do, 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 yeah. and yeah, and it made noises. Yes, and uh, I I used it one time in to, a to, parking lot. Yeah, to, to, over crates, over by crates, crates liquors, crates liquors, and Wawa. What, what were you doing? Were you having a shootout? Uh, no, some somebody? kids. There were like, there were some other guys in another car who were, who were uh, I think. They were menacing you? They, they were menacing us. Okay. Yeah. And I was like, screw you. You whipped and I, it like, out? I whipped it out and I slapped it, slapped the clip in, and they peeled out of the parking lot. Were you like, break yourself? <laughs> break yourself? Were you like, did you turn it sideways? Yeah, of course I turned. No, no, I was just like, they, <laughs> I'm like I will end you. And they, they You were the Punisher. The you were the man that you hate. You became the man that you hate. No, because- You're the Punisher. I mean, he's, he's a murdering scumbag. What could I have gotten? A moist- Okay. Could have gotten him. Yeah. Damn. That's about it. Yeah, I had a, I had a cop gun. Hey, I had a clip. I uh-huh. remember. Um, he got two, shot by a cop. There were two types of cap guns. There was the the revolver mm-hmm. where you had the the. It wasn't a clip. It was a, you know it had the, it was a, it was a circle. Yeah, it had the hammer. It with, still has it. Had it. A hammer and They're it had still there. Uh, I think six little caps in it. Right. And stuck it in there. Slapped the revolver and spun it. We used to um, we used to take um, pliers and just cut out one and play Russian roulette. Oh. We, had, we had just seen uh, <laughs> Deer my, Hunter. My friends um, and I had just seen I'm the Deer like 12 Hunter. years old watching Deer Hunter on uh, Skin of Max. Yeah, uh, no, it was weird. This uh, local, I don't know, this local college is doing a screen the Deer Hunter now. I think I'm eight, maybe nine, and my dad decides to take me and my friend to see this. To see the Deer <laughs> to Hunter. To see the Deer Hunter. Holy like, oh, crap. I heard it's this like, was a good oh, movie. It's Christopher Walken. How weird could it be? Yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah. and so, you know, so we'll see what the Russian roulette. We're like, wow, this is badass. <laughs> Diddy Mao. Diddy, Diddy Mao. Diddy Mao. So, of course. Your father's like, that doesn't sound right. I don't know what Diddy Mouse, Diddy Mao is, but that don't sound right. And I remember having a, it was a forty-five. It might have been like it was very. It had the same proportion as a Desert Eagle, which you know is an ass-kicking gun. Right. Um, and this is before, yeah, they didn't put they didn't put the orange no, tip no orange tip. And what part of Diddy Mao didn't you understand? Yeah, and then later on they did, but I found out a way to kind of pry them out with. Oh them. yeah, you can um, uh, needle used, nose. Yeah, or I used, uh, you know, the manual can openers, the dollar, the 99 cent ones. <laughs> Rather than spending the 75 cents for the needle nose Well, I mean, pliers. I had the, they were just laying around, so okay. I figured a way to pry it out. Yeah. But, so back then, um, height of the Cold War, so me and my friends would play war. <laughs> I so we thought would you were, height of the Cold War, and you had to have something to back yourself yeah, up. Yeah, we play, we used cap guns. God knows what would happen if the Russians came around. Yeah, uh, and, and, and Red Dawn, this is, when, this is when Red Dawn came out. So, Love of course, Red you Dawn. needed, you wanted. The original. You wanted real, real looking guns. Wolverines. Yes, That's right. Avenge me. Yeah. <laughs> I would not have avenged Harry Dean Stanton. No, I don't think um, so. so uh, yeah. Well, even if he was your dad. Yeah, it's like, ooh, you avenge you. I, I kind of want to forget you, Harry Dean. Yeah, I do remember. I, I also had uh, it was like a nickel plate. It was a metal nickel plated gun, and I don't know. I was sitting. I was in the neighborhood, sitting on the side. And I was pointing at my head, just screwing around, <laughs> and this car drives by, and the dude's just looking at me like, and he, oh he kind of <laughs> kind of pulled slowly to like <laughs> check me out, like I was just doing this up, you know, just playing around, not thinking anyone's going to drive by. Oh my god! And then he just kind of peels off, like he didn't, you know, <laughs> didn't roll down the case. window, like no, no, don't do it. But it looked, you know, the guns look maybe he's like, eh, maybe that kid doesn't have anything to live for. Yeah. Eh, who am I? If I save his life by his law, I, mean, I, I, think I owe him a debt. At first, it was like, what the hell? It's like this kid trying to off himself. And then it's like, yeah, then I, I, I don't want anything to do with this. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm not getting involved. I wonder where those things are. My parents don't throw away much, so I might still have those. <laughs> and you could get busted just like that. Oh, they're, they're not the illegal, upstate. are they? they? They're just, you can't. I th- yeah, I mean, the reason they got. The reason why they're all freaking neon orange, you know, you can't really go into yep. the toy store and buy a uh, cap gun that looked real anymore. Is uh, you know, they were shooting kids or, or yeah. people were using the right banks too. Yeah. So, but uh, I have yeah. no idea. I, I have no knowledge of that. Yeah. Well, I, <laughs> you had a bank robber as a roommate. He used a he used a real piece. Nah, he just wrote. Notes. No, he wrote notes. He used notes. All right. Then we get a discussion into uh, kryptonite. <laughs> 
Well, Actually, well, you know what? That's Walt's kryptonite is. <laughs> Walt says he has no kryptonite. He's unstoppable. That's, that's bullshit. <laughs> okay, well, what's his kryptonite? Uh, anything not. <laughs> anything not pizza. That's right. Oh, he's, li- he's listening to us. Yeah, his kryptonite. Do you want to keep him away? Yeah, podcast. Yes. There you go. Our pod- podcast. Well, our podcast in particular. You and me podcasting. That'll yeah. keep Walt. Yeah. Now I, I just want to read a joke. It's a joke. Hot shit comes in. I do not just. I mean, not I always. Know. Yes. Okay. Although I think there is always. one member of our four that that has been known to do that. <laughs> I believe me. Not you, Johnson. Yes. Oh, John- Johnson, Johnson used to run the away. West Coast oh, store. God. It's located on the UCLA campus. Uh, oh my god. Well, I mean, it was you can't you can't hit a rock and not hit a hot chicken uh, on the UCLA campus. Yeah, I know, but you also couldn't throw a rock and hit a hot chick inside of Jay and Sal and Bob's secret stash back in the West Coast. Yeah. From what he told me. So yeah. If so, if a hot chick did go in, she was probably asking for directions how to get out of there. Possibly, I only stopped in to find out how Possibly. I could get I out. Of really, that was a joke. Don't you know. again, joke. But yes. you, you want to come in dressed to the nines to try to get a discount? I'm all for it. Ming wants you to show him some kankel. Kankel, what are little kankel. Hillary Clinton coming in here with the Ming's. Ming's a he's a sucker for some kankel. Yeah, it, it was a joke. Yes. So, although, you know, if you do that, I appre- I'll appreciate the effort. Yes, you will. Come in in a corset. We've had some, uh, some, some beautiful women in here. A lot of beautiful women. Yes, we have. A lot, a lot, a lot, of, lot, of, lot of sweet babies. A lot of sweet yeah, hearts. That's a girl. Come on in. Yeah. Doors open. Let's talk about my, one of my favorite. Uh, there are, uh, there are three that I put up there on pedestals. And okay. this is one. Name, uh, save this one for last. Name the other two. Uh, John Byrne. Okay. And, Agreed. um, uh, and we're we're talking living, 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 and Neil? Jim Lee. Neil Adams. Neil Adams is uh, he's on a slightly lower rung. Okay, but, uh, who's I, number two? Uh, Jim Lee. Jim Lee. Yes. All right. Don't John agree. Byrne. Jim Lee, and our next contestant. Yes. Uh, yes. George Perez. George Perez. Who we have met. Yes. Hi, this is George Perez, and you're listening to I Sell oh, Comics. Yeah. <laughs> but don't you already know that? Well, you're actually listening to the Secret Stash Yeah, you're not listening to I Sell Comics, but hey. Forgive us. Uh, we've met George. We did. Uh, nice guy. One of the nicest men you will ever meet. I stood online for four hours. I wrote this in my blog. Yes. Um, and there were people cutting in line. at This is at... Um, Wizard Con in Chicago yeah. back in 2001. My wife and I went as a uh, second honeymoon. And did awesome you bring wife. that big Avengers poster? I did the, not. Okay. I can't remember what you no. signed. Uh, no, he actually did a sketch for me, which also is proudly displayed here. Nice. We have two George Perez um, sketches adorning the stash's yes. walls. The other one being the one you saw the on the Yellow show. Jacket and the Namor, the Namor which is, Prince is Namor. gorgeous. So Walt got it for how much? Two seventy five. One seventy five. Was it one seventy five? Dude bought two hundred. Okay, one hundred seventy five dollars. Uh, bargain, if I do say so myself. Right. And um, Anthony turned around and offered Walt three hundred right away for it. Yeah. And um. Yeah. No. So now nah, Walt wanted it. We'll, we'll, we'll sell for the right price. Correct? For the right. Well, make a good offer, like three hundred. Meh. Yeah. You know what? Four hundred, not a bad thing. Then remember, this is very early Perez, so this is like one of the things that he got. Is there a date on there? Yeah, it says nineteen seventy-five. Okay. I believe. So, what, when would you say he hit his stride? Um, early eighties. Early eighties. Yeah, late seventies, early eighties, when he was doing FF yeah. Avengers and Crisis. Uh, no, that's that was eighty-six, okay, I, ugh, eighty-six, eighty-seven, but uh. New Teen Titans, his early stuff, eighty one, eighty two, yeah, gorgeous stuff. Yeah, Phenomenal. he's looking. Uh, he's looking like he could go for a while too. He's young looking. He's a vibrant go getter. Vibrant looking. Yes. Uh, I don't know how old he is, but I mean, uh, you know what? He just had some surgery. Uh, best of luck to you, George. Uh, I know he had kind of, ocular kind of, ocular surgery. Oh, in the eyes. Eye surgery. Yeah, caused by drawing. Uh, you know too what? Awesomely. I'm, uh, the, probably. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's it's got to. Well, I mean, you're sitting there focusing on something for so long, right? That's got to like wear on you. Yeah. So, so greatest living comic book artist. He's uh, one he's of, one one of one yeah. Of. For me, he's one of uh, three or four or five. You know, I'm, all right. I, yeah, you don't. I have those three that I put on that pedestal. Yeah, you can't just pick one. No, no, and nor will I. You know, um, which we'd see more sketches coming. Yes. Yeah, well, since I know he'll never hear this. Uh, I, I put Walt on one of those um, 
like a Neil Adams esque. Okay. Don't right. tell him I said that. I won't. All right. <laughs> and I I know he won't listen. So <laughs> I won't. Um, there's a. I mean, you can. St- he's still alive. He still goes to cons. You can meet he him. He does. He and he'll do sketches. As I said, one of the the nicest guys you will ever meet. Yeah, yeah I, he does. Uh, I was lucky because he was working for CrossGen. Yes. And I don't know if you remember CrossGen. Disney bought them out uh, back in the day, but they were throwing around crazy, stupid money, and they had him sketching for for two days. For free, people would go up and yes. get uh, yeah. a George Perez sketch for free, and I mean, he got paid for it by CrossGen. But they're like, "Yes, we love our fans." And are, are you it's insane? F- free? <laughs> yeah, for <laughs> free. And uh, I was expecting to pay. Yeah. And I'm like, "Do you have a tip jar?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I felt like it kind Sir? of. Yeah, yeah, you throw a bucket. Yeah, there and no, I course uh, silver. Ding. <laughs> Wow, you're thanks, a scumbag. Thanks, thanks bro. <laughs> no, you're really, you're really a cheap bastard. Thanks, bro. Uh, Best of luck to you. But I, I knew that he had, um, he had um, been diagnosed diabetic, um, and he'd been sketching for yeah. four hours. So I went over and got him an, an orange with nice. no syringes on it. So nice. Yeah. Oh, you weren't like here's a here's a soda. It's like no, no, yeah. I put this corn syrup. <laughs> he ah, threw it diabetic, on the ground. Diabetic bastard. Shot. Ah, trying to kill me. Yeah. Is he? Uh, I think. Are we going to the New York uh, comic book market? We will is be. He yeah. going, is he going to be back there? I hear. I may believe he will be. Yeah. Get to see him again and be yeah. like, "Hey, man." I mean, if you if you ever notice from the sh- watching the show, big fans. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I mean, my God. <laughs> I mean, I think we bring him up in almost every episode. Uh, exactly. If if I could, I mean, I would love to get him on. He'd oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yes. If we are, if, if season three, when we get season three, yes. And folks, Ming is going to ask you to start praying around now. Yeah, start yeah, praying start for praying season now. three because um, uh, I would like to do some more. He wants to do se- – he's, he's actually going to have you pray for season five because he does want to get that well, – chum- he wants to get that Chumley recognition. If you pray for season five, that that, that means there is – there was, there will be a three and four. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. He wants you to start praying now, folks. Yeah. But um, I, you know, if, if I'm putting together my list of people, I would – Love to have on as like guests. George Perez. George Perez. George Perez. Perez. He would be numero uno. I think the other Him two. and Shatner. Shatner? And, uh, I already tried. Mike. I already, yes. Mike, why don't the other guys like me? Mike, stop making fun of Ming. <laughs> Mike, let me make fun of Ming today. Yeah. But um, I, I think it'd be really cool to get, uh, yeah, to get him on. Uh, I already tried to do, um, I reached out to John Byrne. But he doesn't make uh, con appearances, appearances anymore. Or, no. Okay. Yeah, so Jim Lee. Yeah. Let's get Jim Lee here. I think that'd be cool. All right. We have uh we have a Jim Lee we have Jim Lee original art here. Yeah, we do. We do. It's pretty sweet. It's very Actually, sweet. Instead of being making vague references, uh, I, we may have brought this up before. Jim Lee came down when we had a stash on the West Coast, and uh, there was a fire door, and he drew a picture of Batman, Superman, James, and Bob. Yes. Which is really weird because it had uh, he had Superman killing well, Jay. Well, indirectly, uh, there's a bullet that bounces off, ricochets off Superman, and goes through Jay's head. No, he uses his heat vision to give him. Oh a no, lobotomy. that's right. You're right. Yeah, good point. So yeah, that's that's gonna that's a rare sight. Yeah, Superman kills. <laughs> well, Jay can push anyone. That no, I'm only kidding. It, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's he a can. joke. If you, if you if you know it's Muse, yes, he joke. can. Yeah, he can. He can. Uh, uh, there was a little little short thing about uh, where you talk about the best superhero lair hideout. I'm I'm a fan of Titans Tower. Titan, Big T. How can you Big not T. Like yeah, that? and all the bad guys know where to go. Yeah, I, so. yeah, I like that kind of soft spot for the uh, Hall of Justice. Had that cool fountain out front. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> Stood out. Although uh, on Twitter, someone was like, "Dude, are you guys idiots? The Death Star." Uh, the Death Star. Yeah. Guess what. Well, got, okay, blown up weakness. twice. I yeah. mean, it, it had weaknesses. I mean, yeah. as, I'm sure the the uh, the Hall of Justice had some structural weaknesses structural. as well. <laughs> well, it no, it had it actually had a uh, a force field around it. That's right. Okay, so I take that back. And you had well, I so mean, did the Death Star. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did until they blew it up on Endor. Remember? Uh, yes, that the deflector, deflector shield. shield. It was a deflector shield. And um, when your friends arrive. Yeah. Seriously, you think that and, – and let me ask you one question. Ask away. All right. Um, now, Billy D's riding – Billy D. Williams, Colt 45. Yeah, yes. he's, got your, he's got your ride. 
It, well, it was his. Yes. Right. Well, it used to be his, but now it's Lost you know, it's game, card game. Yeah, yes. now it's yours, yes. and he's borrowing it. He's borrowing it, yes. Then don't you think you're not getting it back? Yes. And and when who chose That's a dialect of Swahili, by the way. You don't know his backstory. He's probably a badass on on whatever planet he was from. What, the calamari the, planet. But the, the pizza planet. The pizza planet, yeah. <laughs> yes. He was probably a bad – you don't know his back. That's what I, I want to see his backstory. Yeah, he's uh, he's what? Like uh, he's related to Luigi and Mario. Okay. You sure. think? Sure. Hey, it's what's me, going on? <laughs> yes. Uh, Titan's Tower was – I thought we – we talked about this last week who got the corner. Or we talked about this. Yeah, we were talking about something. Who it's got like who the, gets the ends of the T because he gets yeah, but better. You, but no, but everything's <laughs> like everybody uh, up gets at, a good view. Up at the top, you're fine. It's it's like being Yeah. Yeah. It's they're all penthouses. All right. Good enough. Good enough. Baxter building. Yes. Uh, um that leads us to this. The FF. I, yeah, you I called did. them overrated. I did. <laughs> well, <laughs> seriously. Come on. All right, I'll admit I'm not the hugest fan of Johnny Storm only because I seems like the kind of guy who would have kicked my ass in high school. But He's a dick. Yeah, he <laughs> He's more – I mean the fact that he tormented the the thing about the way he looked. Yeah, it's what not a cool. douche. That's I'm, – I'm sorry. You're kind of a douche if you do that. Yes. And the, the dude didn't have any choice. It's like, gee, I, I think I'll have super strength and be deformed and rocky. And then he, he has to go and, and just like pretty much rub his nose in it. Yeah, it's not my Screw fault. Screw ass. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Gee, I didn't have much of a choice, dickweed. So, so overrated in terms of what? All the other um, Marvel superheroes? Well, think about this. You've got the Fantastic Four versus the Avengers. Okay. Uh, even even the big – even the, the original five. Yes. They're mopping up the floor with the Fantastic Four. I, uh, I agree with you. Basically, Fantastic Four, they don't go out and fight crime. Uh, they might save the universe every year or two, <laughs> All right. which is nice of yes. them. I'm not saying it. You know, what big wins have they had since they took down Galactus? Most of the the nuts and bolts of the Marvel universe is taken well, care of doc- by the Avengers. Uh, Doctor Doom, you know, he's, he's, he, he's, it, he gets crazy every. But so whose often. fault is that? That's Richard's fault. In the, yeah, I, I, mean, it's, I agree with that. Okay. All right. So and Namor is attacking again. Why? Because he he's horny for the Invisible Girl. Yeah. So again, Fantastic Four's right. fault. I'm going back to the Corman movie, but the, the the Mole Man. Mole Man. Well, <laughs> Mole Man. He's just he's he's kind of creepy. Yeah. And all right, and, not a real threat. No, I mean his monsters. Yeah, but you know you throw the Hulk at that, and pretty much done. All right. All right. All right. So all right, you start to I mean, turn me. Uh, Galactus was their their big thing. Yes. Everything after that, well, not so he much. did eat worlds. I mean, come on. Yeah. No, no, worlds. no. I'm saying they he, the Fantastic Four, def, you know, definitely saved the the planet that time. Yes. Every other time could have been just good PR. You know what I'm saying? And they they do. They have a PR I, department. The yeah. Fantastic well, Four. You know, Mark they, Wade they, has he he confirmed <laughs> it. They have got a PR department. Well, they kind of built for a good, easy. To, they're easy, easily marketable. Yes. Okay. The FF. So well, that and um, if you'll notice, and I'm going to say this, George Lucas took a few liberties with um, the Star Wars and Fantastic Four. Uh, name name the example. Um, Johnny Storm, the Human Torch, Flame and on. Luke Skywalker. Okay. Reed Richards and Han Solo, Chewbacca and the Thing, and you've got your girl, okay, so Leia and the Invisible Girl. Is this why you're watching Star Wars? Like, holy shit! Yeah, he, he ripped rip them off. off. He ripped them off. Doctor Doom, Darth Vader. Think about it. More machine than man. Yeah, pretty. Yeah. Okay, uh, I thought you know you ripped off uh, you know the the Saturday afternoon serials and yeah the, partly uh, and uh World seven samurai yeah. fights and seven samurai but oh, yeah. all right, i never i never and thought the of that. fantastic four all right never thought well of think that. about it i'm thinking okay i'm thinking you, and you kids at home you think about that too yes because there will be a quiz later yeah uh first appearance of batgirl batman uh 359 yes um I, no I, not I, batman it was detective detective i'm sorry detective That's 359 right. i mean uh not the biggest Batgirl fan, even on the TV show. I, of course, I you know Yvonne Craig, who I couldn't whip off oh, for some man. reason. 
Ah, uh, I would have whipped it out for Yvonne Crack. Yeah, I, I, I know you would have. Uh, uh, look great on the show. Great costume. Mm-hmm. Great. She was also um, on Star Trek. Yes. She played one of the Orion slave girls. Yes. There were only two of them. Yes. So. Are you a Batgirl fan? Did you uh, – Loved Batgirl. Kevin said uh, when you watched the TV show, oh, with my Batgirl, God, yeah. it would come out in the animation. Well, you would She would see... roll by on the motorcycle. No, the no? first clue you had was uh, you'd he'd see Biff, Bang, and Pow. Okay. But you'd see uh, Batman punch, then Robin punch, okay. and then Batgirl swing in and, and uh, knock okay. some dude in the nards. Right. And you're like, yes, it's going to be, be a Batgirl bad. episode. Yeah. And Batgirl never punched. Kicked. Always kicked. Oh, kicks. Taekwondo. Student of Taekwondo, I guess. Uh, I suppose. But Taekwondo also uses punches. <laughs> hate to tell you. Oh, okay. Well, but uh, no, they had a bunch of kicks. She was a dancer, Yvonne Craig. Ah. You, uh, in, you're, um, you're well-schooled on Yvonne Craig. She was also in uh, Elvis movies. She dated Elvis for a while, if I'm not mistaken. Really? Before Priscilla? Yeah. Oh, of course. Right on. Yeah. And she, uh, she looked good in a bikini. Yeah. Very attractive young lady. Yes. Well, uh, what was this blue Hawaii that you <laughs> that you freeze framed? Yeah, right. Oh my God! Look at that. Yeah. But yeah, uh, Von Craig and someone someone tweeted. Yes. Like I'm so bummed you guys didn't even mention the first Batgirl. First Batgirl was Betty Kane. Okay. Right. Who was the niece of Kathy Kathy Kane? Is it Betty Kane? Yeah, Kathy Kane. Yes. Who was Batwoman? Okay. Batwoman in the 1950s. They were just so um, dorky. 50s and 60s, late sure. 50s, early well, 60s. Well, it was that time. Bad that woman had um, – she had just like this powder puff <laughs> that uh, she would throw at criminals. Yeah. And, uh, even, the, even the Batgirl in the Type 350 had that purse, the Bat yeah. purse. Yeah, and they, they both had Bat purses. Yeah. And, uh, but Bat Woman's her, – her costume was yellow and red. And they said that uh, – <laughs> There was a uh, law in Gotham City that no man could wear a facsimile of Batman's costume. It couldn't be derivative yeah, at all. So, And he threw that at her and she's like, no, nah, but no man can wear it. They didn't say anything about a woman, right. Batman. Oh, bam. Like, nah. Burn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then there was, uh, there was Batgirl who had a huge crush on Robin. So, And she had a red and green costume. And I do like, like oh the story. God. Batgirl, Barbara Gordon. Yeah. Commissioner's daughter. Unbeknownst to him. Yeah, I know. He's the top cop. He can't figure out that Bruce Uh, Wayne is Batman. Well, he also needs a costume vigilante to help him out. That's true. Crime and. and Well, I think that would be. If if New York was having like a crime wave. Yes. And you heard about some dude who goes, some vigilante Mm -hmm. on rooftops chucking people off. Right. And draining them of their blood. Wouldn't you use that as like a, a really cool tactic? Sure. I would. Absolutely. Yeah. Even if he didn't exist. Right. I'd still use the hell out of them. Absolutely. But um, so yeah, Batgirl, Betty Kane, Batgirl, Barbara Gordon. All right. Awesome. Uh, comic book charades. You were horrible. I hate charades. You were awful. I hate charades. <laughs> I prefer awful. like real games like Risk, Access and Allies. Okay. Uh, you know, Hi Ho Cherio. You're you're uh, a board Candy game Land. guy. Well, things with like actual pieces and and. Well, boards. what if what if we had played um like comic book Pictionary? That, I, I'd be Next down. time. I would have been down with that. Next time. Comic book Pictionary. Yeah. Now, anybody who listens to, say, Tell Him Steve, Dave, or any other podcast know that Walt is a uh, – I don't know. What, 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 he, he lived another life as a game show host. Oh, yeah. He excels at, um, <laughs> at that. And he also excels at um, – it's, it's really weird. He is good at games. Yes. Very good. Uh, well, whether it be a board game, table yeah. game. Or charades. Yes. Yeah. Mine was terrible. Yes. Daredevil. That was what, mine. What were you thinking? What was I thinking? I was thinking Daredevil. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like right. yours, though. Thank you. You you get you got into it. World's finest. Yeah, you got to. World's finest. And right. Brian with the pooping dinosaur. <laughs> AKA Godzilla. Pickle tail. Yeah. Pickle tail Godzilla. Yeah. Next time, instead of asking if I can leave early, I'm just going to leave. Just leave early. <laughs> just leave. Where'd yeah, I'm going to the bathroom and then just yeah, don't just come back. Yeah, just never come out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unless it's your turn to lock up, then we're like screwed. It's like, did Ming lock up? I don't know. I don't care. Yeah. I'm out of here. We talk about Monster Bill? Let's talk about Monster Bill. Yeah, Monster Bill. Monster uh, – a little creepy. Monster Bill – Like this monsters? Uh, you know what? I was going to say um, – someone tweeted me and said, uh, did 
Monster Bill, did he get his name from liking monsters or for some <laughs> other reason? I'm like, well, you know what? That's for the courts to decide. Creepy. You see people. that guy had, uh, you know, uh, I don't know how you describe his demeanor, but drove in a un, well, I wouldn't say unmarked white panel van. It's definitely no, it's, marked. It's a marked <laughs> panel van. Um, uh, it seems legit, kids. You see Monster Bill driving around. Yeah. Go up to him and ask him if he's got free candy. Yeah, or any monsters. Yeah. Hey, you got any monster candy? Yeah. But um, and Monster Bill, and it was so great to watch Brian just you suck. You suck. You're not his. He, he's, he's not your friend. He's an acquaintance. <laughs> I'm well, your friend. A little defensive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was uh, a little, uh, little on the fence there about uh, Monster Bill. Yeah. But universe, uh, are you a fan of the Universal Monster? I, I, it's I well do. documented I, that Walt loves Walt him. is – well, that's – you know what? Maybe that's his kryptonite. Universal Monsters. The Universal Monsters are Walt's kryptonite. All right. That and our podcast. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But uh, we we did buy was that a four pack four of, pack yeah we um he did not he was um, he was joking around. he was jerking Brian's chain yeah, they didn't they didn't sit there they, and put them no they didn't you know meet at some one of their houses on, on a rainy Saturday morning and put together and the put thing. together those, those huff and paint kits. fumes Huffing, uh, you know <laughs> say Broster Bill did you bring the tester your tester's paint kit nah, and your no. exacto knives no but I, I got some glue over here that I'm gonna test, sniff tester's glue remember the tester's glue I sure do uh, you I glued my fingers together many a time yeah. I was a big fan of the war planes of World oh, War Oh, yeah, II. yeah. I like yeah. the planes, too. Planes and the cars. Those are the yeah. ones I put together. Uh, Tester's glue came in this tube. Uh, I believe it was white and blue, something like that. Uh, gray. I white think it was gray or yeah. black. So, yeah, and, I, I do remember uh, that. Man, and strong the, fumes. Yes. Strong. Hells yes. Made me feel good. <laughs> Made me feel funny Made me feel inside. real good. All right, so we got uh, people are like, is that it? No, I got one more episode left. Yeah, we do have one more episode. It's and and if anyone's interested in that model kit, we do have it at the got store, the so you kit. can call us. Got the George Fred sketch as we of this, uh, this recording. Which is, you know, uh, you you got to be legit on that because that's it's a pretty cool. It is. So. It is. Got one more episode left. Uh, involves uh, hockey. You're a hockey fan? Involves Walt's Maybe anniversary. Walt, Walt anniversary. Uh, all right, that's, not, that's good enough of a tease. Uh, that's a great tease. So uh, Thursday, 10 o'clock. Yes. And we'll be live tweeting again. We'll be live tweeting. And uh, I'm sure Brian will be, unless he's got something better to do. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, we'll have, like build we'll, models with Monster Bill. <laughs> and uh, we'll have Walt on next week. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. No, not at all. Thank you, folks, for listening. Thanks for watching. Yes. And uh, if you're listening to this and it's not Saturday yet, we'll be at the Asbury Park Comic Con. Yeah, well, well, I mean, I was going to say that it's like Asbury Park. Comic and if you're Con, a fan of podcasts, uh, listen to Tell Them Steve, Dave, and uh, I Saw Comics. Beautiful. All right. Thank you, Mike. We'll talk to you later, talk folks. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Thanks, man. This has been a production of Smodco Internet Radio. Sir, only at Smodcast.com.